Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Season Wire, the platform where we speak truth to power. Um, this is a very, very short clip um, of an um, update thus far on the death of Mobad and those the police have now um, arrested. Um, from what we've heard uh, and we've seen, Sam Larry, a.k.a. Sam, um, Asam Balogun, a.k.a. Sam Larry, is in police custody. You will see him in the picture there. I think he's one of the guys there uh, with a mask on their face, the two of them. And then, of course, you got uh, Aziz Fashola, a.k.a. Naramali, um, in this picture. It's a short video. Um, and, of course, you can see the inset. It's a picture of uh, Mubad. May so rest in peace. Um, again, I have said this before, that it is good that the police are now taking action now, but they should have done a lot of this work before this young man died. He warned them, he informed them on the 27th of June that his life was in danger and he was looking forward to them. He wanted them to help him, to protect him from being killed. They didn't do anything until two and a half months after that incident and of course he died it was after his death that they started acting it was now the acting and now take, doing what they're supposed to do um literally a case of medicine after death for the life of late mobad as you see in the picture may so rest in peace so they're doing the work again we keep insisting that those officers that ignored the pleas of mobad they mustn't form part of the investigations so we are monitoring and seeing what's going on, and we will make comments. But yes, it's good that they've um, they've got uh, Aziz Fashola, uh, aka Naramali, and Sam Balogun, aka Sam Larry, in co in their custody. And also we're hearing that Owudunni Ibrahim, um, I think he said he's going to volunteer and turn himself in. I'll get that video up um, as soon as I get it. But this video you will just see. It's a couple of seconds, a video of. Um, Sam Larry and Naira Mali um, in police custody going down somewhere, I think. So let's uh, roll the tape. Here we go. So there you go. Okay. See that? There you go. Okay. So, so there they are. So there they are. So there they are. They're all going down. I mean, the thing is, it is a shame. Look at all of the work they're doing. The police are giving themselves more work now. They could have prevented all of this. All they needed to do was to have listened to his pleas, provided security for him. They wouldn't have to be doing... They, you see, a stitch in time saves nine. All they had to do was to have just followed what was said. All they had to do was to have just gone, okay, you know what? All they had to do. So that's Naramali. I don't know why they're putting their hands up. So it looks like they're not, they haven't got cuffs on them. Um, they, it looks like they haven't got cuffs on them, but I'm just showing you so we know. One second, let me just check that actually. I need you to get the picture. Ah, I'm glad I actually saw that because it didn't show. You just saw the head of Naramali. I want you to see the full picture do beg your pardon so we're going to make sure we adjust that as we speak to you right now um i i was focused on just on the commentary and i didn't really pick up on the fact that it was not you wouldn't see Naira Mali properly so you will get to see it now i think you see it so um, excuse the 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 shape of the picture but um we're doing it live on screen as we go ahead and i think it's important that you have that information um just so you can be able to at least uh, so let me just make sure we got everything in before we roll the tape you wouldn't have been able to see before um and uh i'm glad that we we picked that up and we're clearing that up for you as we speak so we will get a clear picture now at least you can that's much better in my opinion i think we're close. Just give me a minute. We're not far off now. We're not far off uh, how we want this thing to be. 
um, it's better to take the time to do it the right way. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, let me just make sure I get that right. Okay. I think we're there now. So we'll roll the tape once more from the top and that way you can have a clearer picture of what was done. So here they are. Of course, in the middle is um, the late Mobad who called out to the police. And uh, okay, we call for those police officers that he wrote to. That letter must be, must be um, is evidence of him calling for help. Those officers that ignored him, that were even saying that he got no evidence, they need to be arrested, they need to be tried for negligence because their lack of action cost the life of, uh, uh, um, of uh, Mobad. It cost the life of Mobad. And they have to be really um, tried, discipline tried, so that other officers will learn that when there is, um, when, when a citizen calls for help to save his life, the job of the police is to protect that citizen with immediate effect. No ifs, no buts. May the soul of Mobad rest in peace. Let's uh, watch this one more time. So it's a silent one. You can see that. So let me just do that again. I don't know what they're doing. So they're pointing at something. I don't know what they're pointing at. So there you see Naramali there. And I think that's Sam Lally behind him. But they're pointing. I don't quite know what that means. But anyway, let's go. See that? So they're pointing up. Somebody's up there. Why are you pointing up? Pointing up for what? Um, you don't have any say in what's going on. Um, I'm sorry. You need to just follow what's being said. And again, the police have answers, questions to answer. They have questions to answer on why they did not proactively um, get send people to protect uh, Mobad when he called. He was actually calling for their help. He was saying, "Please help me. My life is in danger. My life is in danger," and they did not listen to him. Instead, they decided to just, uh, you know, they decided to just, let me just take you. So I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Anyway, so that stops. So there you are. So I'm going to leave it back to this point here so that you can see their faces. So they are, as you can see in that shot, they are in police custody. And um, we now await for uh, a proper trial and uh, they must be questioned um sam larry must explain why he was um in a video trying to threaten the life of uh, threatening uh, uh, uh mobad um and and there are other questions to be asked obviously um and I've, as i stated Oduni ibrahim as i said i said he's gonna put himself before the police or something like that we'll come back with further evidence on that so what i wanted to know is says um uh, before we go ahead go ahead Subscribe to Season AY, the platform where we speak to the power. Help us reach more people. Um, help us grow the platform. We are grateful for many of you who have been helping us grow the platform. We are close to that 3,000 mark. I mean, we are, I think, about, we're just about to hit the 2,800 subscribers. We need to get to 3,000. And with your help, I'm sure we'll get there and beyond that. So please help us grow the platform. You are, of course, watching Season AY, the platform where we speak truth to power um let us have your comments um how do you see things and we'll give you further updates on this very very important topic and one more thing please we need we urge that they the police pay compensation to the family of mobad because if they had done their job and listened to his pleas for help to save his life the parents would not have been not not be faced with burial of their son before in, in before in you know in their time the son is supposed to bury the parents. And that is because of the failure of the police. They must pay compensation to the family. And also, one more thing. The burial of uh, how they... Please, let's give... Let's ensure... We need to ensure that there is a befitting burial. Proper burial. Um, and because the mole is a, is a name that will never must never die. Uh, we must ensure that um, his burial site is befitting... Uh, there will be a room for people. There should be room for people to have a procession to walk past and treat that place with honor and respect that he and we as Africans deserve. 
So I, I call for the when they're going to do the rebellion, they should be done in a very, very respectful manner. We need to treat our dead with respect in Africa. This idea, the colonial brainwashing whereby black people don't matter, it has permeated into our psyche. We need to put a stop to that. So ladies and gentlemen, you are of course watching Citizen Y, the platform where we speak to truth to power. Please leave a comment. Subscribe, hit the notification button, give us thumbs up, help us with more people. And of course, share, share and share. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment and let's hear from you. Thank you and bye for now. Bye for now.